Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, this is a follow-up to my last video on resonant flyback transformer. Um, I modified the transformer by increasing the number of turns from five turns on the primary winding to eight turns, and that dropped the resonant frequency to 35 kilohertz, which is more compatible with the secondary. Before it was 49.7 kilohertz, which is too, too high a frequency to work this secondary. The second thing that I wanted to do with this project was to come up with a good, reliable square wave driver circuit which would enable me to achieve the resonant frequency of this flyback by being able to vary the frequency. And I wanted to do it without using a 555 timer or a combination of 555 timers. So what I did was come up with this. This circuit shows a variable frequency, variable pulse width, multi-vibrator circuit using two transistors. And in this case, I'm using two N2219 transistors. This is the bottom. It's, this is actually how they look when you look at the bottom of them. And this is how the thing is connected up. This is a very basic uh, A-stable circuit that self-oscillates, producing square wave outputs. And the circuit is modified so that it's got two 10K parts and what you can do with these parts is if you vary this one here, you can change the uh, pulse width of the square wave output. And if you vary that one, you can vary the frequency of the square wave output. This whole thing is driven at 5 volts DC, which seems to work well with these transistors. And these are some of the values of the components that I used. And uh, what I did is to vary the frequency ranges, which is important when you're trying to find something that will work with your flyback. What I did is I put a bunch of jumpers, and this is the configuration of jumpers, containing respectively, you know, uh, the following capacitors. So there you've got a 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, and 0 0.0001 microfarad ceramic capacitors. And by just putting j jumpers in different positions, you can change your effective frequency range of this flyback. And what I've been doing is just making them, both of these, the same value. So if I choose a value of say 102, uh, there I'm doing, I'm choosing the same capacitor there. And so what I'm doing is I'm running this with the uh, lowest value that I have, which is the ceramic capacitor 102. And, um, the output of this comes at two ends. You get basically square wave outputs, which are 180 degrees apart. And you only need really one of these outputs. And I'm taking the output and using it to drive these TC4421A and TC4422A um, MOSFET drivers. Now these are robust, very uh, high current drivers. They can push out 10 amps and uh, these are driven at 15 volts. So I'm driving this part with five volts and this part with 15 volt DC using voltage regulators. The, um, and, and, and these are inverting and non-inverting respectively. So this is non-inverting and this is inverting. And what we do is we take the output of these and put that into a gate drive transformer this two microfarad ceramic capacitor is to prevent DC current from locking these things up. So um, this prevents DC, it just allows the AC to go through. So we're gonna test this out. I just soldered everything together yesterday and um, let's go and see how it works. Okay, I just switched it on and uh, the blue trace is the output from the A-stable multivibrator. The yellow trace is the output from the gate drive transformer. So it seems to be driving those MOSFET driver chips pretty well and getting a nice stable square wave output. And um, I'm gonna try varying the frequency and varying the pulse width. So let's try playing with the settings. So here I'm varying the pulse width and here I can vary the frequency as you can see there. So it seems to be working pretty well. And I've got a good output off my gate drive transformer as a good square out. So the next step with this project is to connect this setup 
to a half bridge and then to drive that Tesla core, that, sorry, that, um, that uh, flyback transformer at resonance to see what, what it looks like. So basically that's it. And the other thing you can do with these is you can um, use them to modulate uh, or interrupt Tesla coils. So this could be an alternative to using 555 uh, timer chips, you know, uh, to be able to uh, modify the um, pulse width and the uh, frequency of an interrupted uh, Tesla coil. Thanks for watching.